Meteorologist Liz McGiffin here and today I want to show you how to make a cloud in a jar. The first thing I need you to do is gather all your ingredients, get them here ready to go because things get moving pretty fast with this one. So here's what you need. I brought over my electric kettle because you need some boiling hot water, you need some ice cubes, you need some hairspray, you need a clear jar or container and preferably one that has a lid but if you're like me maybe couldn't find the lid as long as you have something that'll cover the whole top of it, like a plate, you'll be good to go. And in case I didn't mention it yet, grab the ice cubes too. I went ahead and already set those on the plate. The first thing I'm gonna have you do is take your hot water and fill it about halfway up in the glass jar. After you have the water in there, maybe give it a little swirl and then quickly grab your hairspray, give it a quick little squirt and then take your lid and cover up your jar. Make sure the ice cubes are on top of either the lid of your jar, or if you're like me, maybe you grab something like a plate. Just make sure that the whole top of that lid is nice and covered. So I know that moved pretty fast. I wanna to explain to you what's going on with this. The first thing I wanna point out is that heat rises. So that's why it's important to immediately cap off this whole experiment. While we're watching what's going on inside of the jar, not only is it the hot air that's moving up, but the water vapor. In this case, that means that the liquid water droplets that have gotten hot enough to go from a liquid stage into a gas, they're starting to rise up, but being capped off by our plate or our jar on top. The other thing that we have on top is the ice to create a big temperature contrast. Now this is important because that's going to be a big key factor and the warm air as it starts to cool down, it begins to condense. Another thing that we did, of course, was we added the hairspray. This works as our cloud condensation nuclei. Simply in our normal atmosphere, cloud condensation nuclei comes in the form of dust particles of some pollution. And the big reason that's important is because as those water vapor droplets, like we were talking about, start to rise, find some cooler air and condense, they need something to grab onto. And that, well, simply put, will be things like dirt and dust that are flying around in the atmosphere for those water droplets to condense on top of. Another thing that you're going to notice as this experiment goes on is not only do we have that cloud that's forming inside of the jar, but we have a lot of those little water droplets in there as well. This is condensation. So after those water droplets condense, well, condensation usually forms. And condensation, it's simply those water vapor droplets or the water and the gas form starting to turn back into a liquid form. So at this point, now that we have that contrast between the rising hot air, the cold air, and something for the liquid to grab onto, it looks like we not only have a cloud inside of here, but like it's raining as well.